EastEnders fans spot Hugh G and Beale oversight did you? In recent episodes Kathy Beale, Gillian Tailforth, told Fi Browning, Lisa Faulkner, that her dad James Wilmot Brown, William Boyd, raped her. But hearing Kathy's shock confession for the first time left Fi completely shaken and she wasn't completely convinced she was hearing the truth. So tonight, Ian Beale, Adam Woodyett, was on a desperate mission to secretly record his mum's attacker's confession. The business owner finally came face to face with James when he went round to the office with his mastermind plan. Ian coaxed the Walford villain into spilling what happened. He started, why don't you just admit it? Tell the truth. Say it. James started, you want the truth? Your mum taunted me, played with me, denied me. So I took it. I showed her. I did it. That Wilmot Brown didn't go into deleted items when he deleted Ian's audio Twitter eventually, James confessed. I raped her. But upon hearing the rapist's sick confession, silly Billy Ian grinned from ear to ear signifying that he'd been recording the conversation all along. And just as he was trying to leave the premises, James summoned a henchman to retrieve Ian's recording device. Whoops. The bouncer deleted the audio file before giving Ian back his phone back and sending him on his way. But tonight, EastEnders viewers had their Sherlock Holmes hats on and guessed that Ian would still be able to find the recording on his mobile. One person tweeted, the recording on Ian Beale's phone can easily be recovered. Any simple recovery software will get it back in seconds. But Wilmot Brown didn't go into deleted items when he deleted Ian's audio. It's probably still on your phone, Ian. Added another. A third continued, don't worry Ian, it will be in your deleted files mate. Let's hope Ian manages to get back home with his phone in tow. But with those pesky Taylor kids, anything is possible. Catch East Enders on Thursday at 7.30pm on BBC One.